All right, you guys, something a little bit different today. Zigzag and CG just dropped a video on GeoGuessr where it looks like CG's made what is called an impossible map. So I'm going to jump in. Zigzag dropped a link in the description. So I'm going to jump in and I'm going to play it and see how I go. Now, because it's called impossible map and we're talking about pros here, I don't know. I'm going to say a win for me in this is that I just get the right country on one of them. Now, I have no idea what this is. I just watched the intro to the video to see if that was going to help. And pretty much, Oscar just said, it's just five rounds with, a, there's a clue for each one, which I'm going to put up on my second screen here and I'll read it and that's going to help. So this is no moving. There is no time limit. So um, I guess that's going to be helpful, especially with the clue. Uh, and you're allowed to pan and zoom, but that's it. So let's jump into it. Let's see how we go. Let's see if we can get one country and I'll consider that a win. All right, like I said, I've got the clues here so we can read them out for each round and let's jump in on it and see how we go. I've got no clue what to expect here. Okay, so starting off, let's read the clue. Uh, this unusual environment is not the first thing you'd think when imagining this region of the world, which is famous for something much deeper. Okay. Now, first thought is, are we in Australia? Looks kind of familiar to me. Uh, oh, we can zoom around. We can have a look around. Okay, okay. So, what have we got here? This... Is this a birch tree? I'm not sure. Sun is... South. Okay, we're not in Australia. Uh, we've got these straight poles. Okay, the, this unusual environment is not the first thing you think of when imagining this region of the world. Okay, so this is... I think what I'm understanding here is that this doesn't look like where it is. This is these things are so straight. I don't I don't have any idea. And the fact that it doesn't look like what it's supposed to. Hmm. Okay. I, keep your expectations low on this, all right? This is the only thing I've got here. Eswatini. Why? I don't know. I don't know. We're going to watch the video after this and I'm hoping to learn something. It's the US. So perhaps like we'd be out in like Western Texas and that's like kind of an oil clue. I mean, these kind of look like live oaks. Maybe this one does. I'm, I'm not really convinced about that, but it's not out of the question. Oh, can I just have the clue one more time though? Yeah, yeah, for sure. This unusual environment is not the first thing you'd think of when imagining this part of the world, which is famous for something much deeper. Famous for something much deeper. Maybe we're near the Grand Canyon. I mean, that's a canyon. This did not remind me of Arizona. I mean, why would we get so much rainfall? It feels very very green here. The trees are quite substantial, right? Landscape-wise, I like Texas better. It doesn't really look like Mexico either. I think that we should be somewhere near the Grand Canyon based on my interpretation of the clue here. I think that makes more sense than oil. You probably would have said something else if it was oil, I think. So maybe like a national forest around here? I would never guess that ordinarily, but uh, I guess, you know, in the context of the clue, it makes enough sense. I think I'll try that. I will guess here. Don't love the guess, but at the end of the day, sometimes you got to ball a little bit, right, CG? You do, um, you do. Is there anything else that's deep in the US? That's really the one that makes the most sense to me. I'm going to guess right here. Oh, okay. Not too bad. What's the right state? Yeah, nice. Got Arizona at least. Okay, so what was the deep thing around here? Are there some caves or what? Or caverns no, or what? It, it was the Grand Canyon. Yeah, just like okay, for okay, Arizona. Yeah. All right. I think we're going to find out a lot when we react to the video. So let's jump onto the next one and see how we go. Okay. We've got a cow. Let's read the clue. I have no hint for you here. I just want to see if you know where Big Beef Cow is. Right. Okay. Well, I don't. Um, but let's go off the clues that we can see here. Uh, first of all, yellow road lines generally means we're in the US. Plus big utes. We're looking at the US or Canada. Almost for sure. Okay. We do have a plate here. I don't know what it is. Um, ooh, okay. Ohio. Welcome to the village, Gilboa, Ohio. I mean, is that helpful? 
I get this so confused. Okay, here. Where's the place called? We've got no time here. We can we can find this. Gilboa. Okay, let's just go between Columbus, Cincinnati, somewhere around here. Nice. There it is, right there. Is this in Gilboa? Yes, it is. Here we go. Next one. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. Let's have. Does he see the sign? The clue straight away. Let's have the clue straight away. Okay. So I actually I don't have a hint for you here. I just want to see <laughs> if you know where this is. <laughs> okay. Uh, man, we have. Okay. Oh. I... <laughs> Did I you... kind of forgot that sign was there. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking it was like outside here somewhere. I knew it was Corn Belt somewhere. I thought I was thinking mm -hmm. it was outside here somewhere. I'm not going to turn around. I'm going to try and find the town without looking back at that sign. I think it was like... That's your loss, Oscar. If you're not going to if you're not going to use the clues that have been given to you, that's your loss. We're going we're gonna to take the dub on this one. It was an O or something, <laughs> wasn't it? Oh my gosh. I'm actually goldfish brained. It's actually crazy, guys. <laughs> um, I mean, it just looks like West and Ohio to me with this landscape, right? Oh no, he's actually just going to crush it. Like, it, it feels quite a lot like Illinois and Indiana. So that's the vibe I'm getting here. Okay, screw it. I'm looking again. Gilboa, and that's the landscape. Well, CG, I'm going to take my time to get this nice score, I think. Go for it, Firstly, man. I'm scanning where I thought, and then I'll scan elsewhere. It's not your loss. You just decided to look. Same as I did. Did I look at it yet? I think you did at one point, if I oh. saw it correctly. Yeah, there you go. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Easy one. Oh, it's the big beef cow. Let's freaking yes, go, man. We are right here. Nice. Okay. Well, that was, I mean, you know what? That's not a bad effort. And it was actually, nice yeah, nice it job. was actually exactly in my region, guess. But yeah, I was, I was. Oscar, teach me how to scan. Teach me how to scan like a pro, because clearly I don't know. All right, on to the third. I love this no time limit thing, by the way. This is great. Okay. It's like, this place is just flooded. And we're actually in... Nope, the car's just driving through the flood. Okay, uh, I guess we read the clue and see where we're at. The Google car went for a swim in this town, but swimming in another body of water in this country recently made global headlines. All right. I feel like that means we're probably in France. Can we confirm? It does look kind of like French and we've got these things on the windows here, which I believe is very French. Yes, I think supermarché uh, means supermarket. I'm pretty sure in French. So, okay, let's just have a look at the landscape. I don't think there's much to go off. Um, and nothing else has given me any clues. So, let's just jump over into France. And there's a little, I'll show you guys a little um, a little hack when you're playing, if you're trying to, um, if you're trying to beat a professional, what you do is you get the country like this, chuck it in the middle of the map, like this right here. And then you just click right in the middle and usually ends up pretty close. This time it did not. I believe that this is France based on the architecture. They love to do this kind of sloped roof, especially in kind of Parisian architecture, things influenced by Parisian architecture. I believe it was the, it's the Seine, right? That runs through Paris, which is not really too safe to swim in. So yeah, I think that would check out for France here. Okay, so now it's all about a region guess, if I'm correct about that. It's hilly. I mean, I, I love French architecture, man. I really do love French buildings. It's very um, nice, yeah. These red roofs, kind of not so typical of the Max North area, also not so typical of the Max South area or the Max east area it's kind of more like a middle thing i think kind of like this area could work dijon Lyon, they have a lot of uh, red roofs and again we do have kind of mixed colors here it also feels kind of warm in a way like i think a lot of these trees kind of feel a bit more of a warm kind of vibe so i'm kind of just thinking like a middle click here i'm thinking uh bourbon lancy and yeah i think that's a famous place was there a battle there or something in uh in world war ii i want to say world war one I? I don't know regardless you guys know and i don't I'm, I'm just gonna go here i think this is uh unless i can see it at this zoom level then i I think I'll just send. Yeah, it's probably a smaller place. I'm just gonna go like this. I think I'm at least within like 300 kilometers. Let's see. Oh no, 350. Oh, cool. It's that easy. It's that easy. No, I actually don't know if we beat him or not on that one, but we guessed very similar. He used the same strat. He used the same strat. 
I can't lose this right here. Okay, we're in Japan. The country's obvious here. Thank you. But this location is in the prefecture where my ancestors were from. A certain clue is visible somewhere to help narrow things down. Okay. So, I wonder if the clue is something that I'll understand. Um, I love Japan so much. It's such a cool place. I'm not going to linger on this for too long. Uh, okay, is this the clue? It says Tokyo. Maybe we're literally in Tokyo. I don't know heaps else about... Like, I don't know how to tell... There's certain things you can look at on the poles, like the um, these, these double vertical things. I think they mean something. Um, but I honestly think we found it by finding the word Tokyo. So let's click on Tokyo. Let's just go... Let's go somewhere kind of yeah, just out here somewhere maybe. Oh, this is in Tokyo. Where is this? Oh, this is Yamanashi. This is near Mount Fuji. This is Mount Fuji right here. I'm gonna look at landscape and everything here to get a vibe because you know poles are kind of boring. It's definitely hilly, not the biggest hope in, in Japan. I'm trying to get a vibe for the architecture because it's so urban, it's difficult to say. Okay, this kind of sloped roof thing that would be more common in the north of Japan. So maybe CG descended from some northern Japanese people. I think that would make enough sense. I mean, it's only one house though. You'd like to see it on a few houses, you know what I mean? I guess that kind of counts, not really though. And there's one big clue here. Okay, so now I'm gonna scan for that clue. New Asahi. Is there a city called Asahi? I mean, I know it's a beer company, but uh, I don't think so. It's probably just a company anyway. So I'm, I'm assuming that's not the clue. I mean, isn't Tokyo... I kind of hope that he finds the same sign that I found. Because it would just be really funny. Tokyo, like the Sun City. I, I couldn't claim I really know that. Well, it does say Tokyo there. Well, <laughs> let's go. Come on. Is it possible? <laughs> Didn't notice that. that. No. It would kind of be a strange clue if it was. No, don't give it. Don't give it away. Actually, that does make sense, right? Um, I, I think the meaning of Tokyo has something to do with the sun. And we have Southwest Mountains here, so I would go maybe here. Let's find out. Okay, Yamanashi. 69 kilometers. Do we, do we, do we get on that one? Do we get him? I don't think so. I think we went a touch further in. On to round five. We're crushing, we're crushing. This is the best impossible map ever. It's so possible. Okay, last one. Yeah, as the sun on the building says, this is the richest square mile in Africa. Yes, it does. And that building is in fact also the tallest in sub-Saharan Africa. Hmm. There you go. Um, and that's it. So we've got to find the place. So, I mean, surely, does it say the richest square mile in Africa? I would imagine that the richest part of Africa is South Africa which would be which would mean like Johannesburg is probably where we are um, this czar here is South Africa so that's good we can lock that in we know we're in we know what country we're in and I don't know if we're gonna have much else to go off here the Leonard Penthouse Suites, Michelangelo Towers. Maybe, honestly, Da Vinci, Michelangelo. Okay. Maybe we just have a real quick scan in here in Johannesburg and see if we can find any places that have these kind of uh, Italian inventing inventors' names. All right, I can't bother to look any further. I can't find the Ninja Turtles anywhere. So let's go guess. Oh, we, we must have been literally on this at some point. Oh, there you go. Anyway, 11 kilometers. I'm pretty stoked on that. Let's have a look at the results. The only bad one was that very first one where we went 
America on, I think I said um, S with E or something. So I would immediately have assumed that this was Cape Town based on just the description alone, but it looks more like, I think, Johannesburg, I would say. So let's see if we can get it off this. I mean, we have a picture of the landscape here, probably looks more like Joburg. It's quite flat. If that is indeed this tower, which it seems to be. And we have a 011 area code, which is also Johannesburg. So yes, indeed, it is there. Not Pretoria. I think Pretoria is 012. So yeah, we can get into South Africa here. Johannesburg, probably going to be pretty close to downtown. Now we should have it, right? The uh, the suburb name here. Michelangelo Towers is the name of the place. This is definitely the one you'd want a 5k in the whole seed. The Leonardo. It's pretty industrial, I've noticed, and it's not really on a grid. The whole mention of a state here makes me think that that could definitely fit. <laughs> There's a bunch of golf clubs in this place and it says a state on it. So I, I get the feeling we, we, we're kind of likely to be somewhere around here. We have hospitals here. Okay. That was something I was looking for. So maybe in this area, but the hospitals were to our south. So I don't know. Not really seeing what I'm after here, but I would guess here it's near a hospital. It's near like the botanic gardens and, and the uh, golfing. So I feel like it's a decent guess. Let's find out if it's on the north side. And okay, it was. Okay. A bit further up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Nice. Oh yeah. It was healthcare, but not a hospital. Okay. That makes sense. Mm. Yeah, definitely a fancy side of town. Yeah, Sandton's like this affluent yeah. suburban area. Yeah, right. Nice. Okay. Well, South Africa is such a fascinating country. The highest inequality of wealth in any country, I think, still to mm -hmm. this day. And there we go. 22,000 points. So not bad. Let me know, guys, how you did in comparison. And now let's move on. Well, I did not bad. I did not bad. Oh, well, there you go. We saw how zigzag went. We, we went really well. I mean, he called it impossible map. So yeah, we crushed it. Appreciate you guys for watching this. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, why don't you click on another video, keep watching, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.